Christmas Ever After is a pretty enjoyable film. This was released in 2020. It was directed by Pat Keeley and written by Katrina Mathewson and Tanner Bean. And it stars Ali Stroker as our protagonist, Izzy, and Daniel DiTomaso as our romantic love interest, Matt. And something that I want to praise the film for, first of all, is that Izzy is in a wheelchair. And I have watched and reviewed over 400 Christmas rom-coms to date, and I don't think there was ever a protagonist in a wheelchair. So I want to praise the film for that part of it, but I also want to praise the film for not making it about her being in a wheelchair, because they make it seem like this is just a character who we would see in any kind of Christmas rom-com, and that's brilliant. The narrative has nothing to do with her being in a wheelchair, and that works so well. And it's a shame that I have to praise the film for this, because it should be something we see more of, but I couldn't let this go without saying well done for breaking the mould and doing something a little bit different. Uh, it definitely comes across as a, a really great thing. The narrative itself is quite nice as well. Izzy is a writer, she's a novelist, and she goes to this B&B to stay and finish her novel. And while she's there, she meets the new owner, who looks a lot like the romantic lead in her novels. And I won't say too much about that, but that part of it was was quite interesting, and I liked that part of the narrative. And obviously, as she's spending time there, working on her novel, there is this romantic relationship that begins to grow between Izzy and Matt. And they're both very likable characters. They work really well together on screen. I have absolutely no complaints about any of that. It's also very festive, because obviously at the B&B, at Christmas time... There are a lot of different Christmas activities. The decorations are beautiful. So it's very festive as well. It's maybe not the most memorable narrative with regards to the specific things that happen in it. But at the same time, there's nothing about it that I didn't like. There's nothing that didn't work. The pacing is really good. The romantic aspect is very believable. The characters are likable. The performances are great. And there's a lot of Christmas in it. It takes all of the right boxes and I have no complaints. If you're looking for a Christmas rom-com that you haven't seen and Christmas Ever After sounds like one for you, then I'd say definitely check it out. And of course, again, we have a protagonist in a wheelchair. Hopefully, I will see more Christmas rom-coms with a protagonist either in a wheelchair or some kind of disability to make things a little bit more inclusive. I feel like the film industry is starting to get a little bit better with things like that. Still not quite there, but certainly Christmas Ever After is taking things in the right direction, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it.